Yeah, swing the jaws up, things I get toss up You forget wash up, you forget mash up Baby, just grind on the cocky like a pasta, pasta She a drop the cocky like a rasta, slaughter She want me cuff like the fucking police She a beg me it's to fuck her please, me to back to my channel, if you're new to this channel You wanna hit that subscribe button Cause this channel's full of tea, drama, and story times And I'm a chick from Brooklyn Everybody loves a chick from Brooklyn And that's on period Period as you guys can see by the title, this is a part two to my live stream story time. If you haven't seen that story time, you will want to go watch it. It is the toxic um, friendship. It's my only live stream, my first and only. And I wasn't going to record a part two. I actually went live on Instagram to talk about the part two only because when I was live on YouTube, I felt like it was getting, on, getting too long. So I didn't want to film me continue on but I did go on my Instagram and uh was on live for 20 more minutes and telling you guys the sum the summary and speaking about the conversation me and Marie had not a lot of people ended up seeing that live stream and I did not keep it up I actually deleted it so I asked you guys on my Instagram if y'all want a part two where I can insert the screenshots and the screen recordings of the voice notes that was being sent to me because I was playing it on my Instagram but I feel like it was a little bit messy because you know people could listen to the voice and figure out exactly who Marie is. The purpose of my video was not to bash somebody or anything like that. It was just to tell a story as to why I can't be cool with certain people anymore. So I'm just gonna go over the text messages video is like a part two but it's just me reading the text messages and playing the voice notes and I'm gonna put the receipts on the screen which I was not able to do on the live so you guys have a better understanding. Now I believe I left off in the video. The part I left off at is basically Marie texting me. I'm just gonna go over that part. I'm gonna read the text messages it's gonna be on the screen. Let me move over a little bit. I'm gonna move over a little bit so I can put the receipts and I'm gonna pull up my messages so I thought the thread was on my phone but it's only on my MacBook so I gotta pull it up on the handy dandy MacBook y'all know I pulled up the receipts from the MacBook before also if you see any edits in the screenshots like anything scratched out that just means that it's personal information there's some trifling ass bitches out here that will pretend to care about you pretend to be your friend and really be low-key and shady and hating on you and jealous and I just want y'all to see the signs because I've clearly missed a lot of them. So, like I told you guys, I'm sorry, I gotta pull it up on MacBook. So, if I'm looking down, hold on, let me just bring it up so y'all can see what I'm doing. Right? So, as I told you guys, um, the last conversation when I text her about what I, the information I found out from the boy, I texted her on December 18th and we didn't speak after that. So, after December 18th, she never texted me back. She never addressed the situation. In fact, she just went back and pressed, I guess, pressed the nigga about what he told me and how much information I know. But still never came to me and addressed the situation. Which I did not care. I didn't really care more so about what happened or what was told to me. It was more so like, I'm writing you to ask you it from you. To confirm if this is true or not because you're my homegirl but you did not respond to me. We ba She basically ghosted me. I, I don't want to say she ghosted me but we had we didn't speak since I sent that text message. We didn't speak like I told y'all in the first video. So she texted me on Sunday February 7th. Mind you I told you guys I sent my text message on December 18th. She texted me February 7th. That is about a month and some change after the fact where we was not communicating and she texted me i'm gonna put the screenshot on the screen she sent me a text like you a weird ass bitch you mad at me over a nigga that i knew before you that i never even touched i'm gonna regret this text in the morning but i just needed to say that because i'm not finna throw subs like you but go ahead so this is my problem with this message right it's like she's making me she's making herself the victim because she's like oh i'm the weirdo because i'm not talking to her over something that she did that's signs of narcissistic behavior bro like that's what narcissists do they're always gonna make you feel like you're at fault and like i told y'all all the times that she did shit to me she will always make it seem like she did it because of something i did to her or it was because it's always my fault like anytime we stop talking every time i get upset it was always my fault and that shit took me the fuck off like this is why i was so angry at her because it's like okay i could be a weird ass bitch that's not talking to you whatever whatever you think i'm not talking to you for but 
I left it as that. Since December, I haven't contacted you or nothing. So why are you writing me at 2 a.m.? What was the time? 2, 12 a.m. a month and some change later trying to make me feel bad for not speaking to you when you are the fucked up person. Cool. Like I told y'all in the first live, um, I was asleep. So I was asleep around that time because I don't be up late. And it kind of hit me off guard to see that message. So I texted her and I feel like when I was texting her, I was being very respectful until I wasn't. So I'm like, you texted me a, month, a month later about it. That's where the issue is, you dummy. And second of all, bitch, it's not the point that I told you about the nigga and showed you his gram. Oh, sorry. And second of all, bitch, it's the point that I told you about the nigga and showed you his gram. Then you whip him. That's mad weird to me. And then I texted you about it. You ain't say shit to me about it. That's the weird shit. You're not a friend to me. So like I said, it's not more so if she linked the dude or whatever case may be because at that point I did not care about the dude like I said he was 10 niggas ago it's the fact that I showed you him I was talking to him you knew I was talking to him and then you went to go link him and then when I asked you if you linked him you left my message open but you ran back and told him that I wrote you I said you're not a friend to me sorry if it's not it's no periods listen when you angry you just be typing i said you're not a friend to me you been not to be honest but that was it because i told you guys she i at this point when this shit happened we was our friendship was been faded like i wasn't really hanging out with her but we were still communicating on the regular like if i see something funny i'll send it to her and vice versa but i've been realized that this is not someone i that someone i should consider a friend but this right here really icing on the cake we shall proceed then you like a nigga i knew before you if you knew him before me when i showed you his gram you would have said you knew him like shut up so now she's trying to use that she knew this boy before me as a defense as to why she felt like her hanging out with him shouldn't be an issue because she didn't meet him through me which i know was a fucking blatant lie right because if you knew him before me when before i started talking to him and when i started talking to him when i gave when i when i asked for the whole facts because you know when you ask your home girl about somebody you talking to or about to talk to they will tell you if they used to talk to them if they knew them where they know them from that's the whole purpose of you that's the whole purpose of you sending out somebody you talk to your pictures to your home girl so you could get the whole facts you could find out what your home girl know about this person before you get involved with them so for her to say oh i knew him before you bitch why didn't you say that you never told me that you knew him at all you was like oh he cute talk to him so when did you know him all right we shall continue anyways so she's like so when you were telling telling me about him i could tell that you was really feeling him so me thinking i'm being a good friend i'm not gonna tell you that he's in my dm because i wasn't even checking for him and i didn't want to throw you off now am i bugging or that made no fucking sense at all let me know y'all does that make sense that makes no sense bro any person anybody in the world i could send this bitch fucking barney and she will tell me something she know about barney so if you honestly did not if you honestly knew this person and did not have any interest in them why wouldn't you tell them why wouldn't you tell me that oh i seen this person before or oh i have him on the gram he be dming me it's not no shade it's not no oh i got a story about him you just letting me know that he you know y'all communicated before that made no sense this is how i know she was lying she's over here like oh i didn't want to tell you because you liked him nigga that is the reason you should tell me before i get involved with somebody i would like to know he was a serial dm'er if he was always in your dm i would like to know oh nah i don't want to fuck with somebody that used to be dm'ing the fuck out my home girl so why wouldn't you tell me that that shit made no fucking sense like this bitch was lying out her ass because she was wrong and she does not want to seem wrong like that's what was aggravating me more about this conversation is because even if she did this shit because i like i said i did not care about the nigga it was just the principality of everything that was happening on happening with the situation right if she would have just if i'm texting her and she would have like you know what yeah i linked him my bad that i like i didn't think you would care or some shit like that right i wouldn't have been as tight but it's the fact that she's denying and then she's justifying everything she's trying to justify why she how she knew him before me and why she did what she did instead of just taking the accountability and saying you know what sis i fucked up like i did some fucked up shit uh-uh she never did that she trying to make it seem like i'm bugging like i am i bugging y'all all right hold on we, i'm 
arms is getting tight. Every time I read this shit, it just makes me want to go to the house. Like, girl. We gonna continue. And the night that I linked him, it wasn't on no link link. It was on some I'm already drunk. I can't drop home shit. So the next day I was hung over and I didn't feel like explaining. And I'm hitting you a month later because you know me. When I want to say something, I'm going to say it. Now let me break this apart, right? She said she linked him not on no link link. She linked him on some drunk shit. And that's what made it even worse because why are you linking him on some drunk shit? You got mad niggas. You got mad people you talk to that you could link. Why are you linking him on some drunk shit? And on some drunk shit, remember they say a drunk man never lies, right? Remember, you heard that saying before. A drunk person never lies. That is exactly why homeboy was saying, like, she was around him. She kept talking about me. So, when you was talking about me to homeboy, that's really how you felt. Because you was drunk. So, you was speaking from the soul that you did not like me. Basically, that's what I was grasping from the information that I got. You do not like me. So, you sat. You went to go link somebody that I was deeply involved with at some point. To sit on a couch and vent about how you don't fucking like me. And you thought the nigga was just going to side with you. But instead, he called my phone up and let me know. Yeah, look dumb. Then she said the next day she was hung over. And she didn't feel like explaining. You were so drunk. You did not feel like explaining. But when I texted you, you wasn't drunk enough to call a nigga and ask him if he told me. You wasn't that drunk, though. But you was too drunk to tell me why you was with him. And cool. Granted, you could have been drunk that day, but you're writing me two months later. So you was drunk every day since then, so you could not explain yourself at all. Do I look like a dickhead? Like, do I look stupid to these bitches? I swear to God, do I look dumb? Anyways, let we gonna keep going. So I keep telling, I keep reiterating that she missed the point because I keep letting her know it's not about the dude. Nigga, dudes... I, like I said, he's 20 niggas ago. I was happy in my relationship. It was just like... I was more concerned that she linked him and was talking about me. But she kept missing that. She thinking I'm tight that she linked him. And I'm just tight she linked him. And I, like I said, don't give a fuck. Carry on. I'm like, you missed the point though. I don't care if you killed or not. It was just that I showed you him. And you was all like, ooh. Then somehow you around him. And then I asked you. You ain't say shit. But you went to him to let it be known I asked you. Like the whole shit was weird as fuck to me. Like I said, reading this is probably not going to make sense. Because I was just. But if you get it, you get it. Right? Tell me y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Right? Now she like, you weird as fuck throwing subs at me. Mind you, if you've seen the first video, I kept telling y'all. I was posting like little memes from the Justin LA board, the Niggas Be Broke Okay page. And I guess somebody sent it to her, one of mine posted to her because she felt under what it was talking about. But I'm not going to throw subs because clearly if I went to throw subs, I would have never texted you to begin with. I would have just straight start throwing subs. Like, honestly, I don't even know what sub she talking about. But I have an idea what post she think would be about her. But girl, it don't matter because I was writing you and you didn't write back. I tried to be direct. So, okay. So, this is when she started sending the voice notes so from this point on i'm just gonna insert the clips um i'm just gonna insert the screen recordings of the voice notes and stuff like that so that y'all can hear it and y'all can see the conversation from there and then i'm gonna come back and sum it up no honey you missed the point when you were showing me the boy i'm not gonna be like oh my god i could tell that you was really liking him so i'm not gonna be like oh my god that he's in my dm he's in my dm Honey, I've been knew the boy. Like I was never talking to him on no talking to him, talking to him shit. But I've been knew the boy. Like so when you showed me him and you like, oh he's cute, I'm like, all right, I'm jacking it for you because I already had no intentions of ever talking to the boy. So when you showed me the boy, I'm jacking it for you. So what's the point of me saying, oh he's in my DM? Like what good would that have done that would have been like that would have discovered you from talking to him and then everything that you and him would have was that so everything i feel like me saying talk to him was good like that's what a friend would do like i don't feel like oh he's in my dm that's being negative and i'm i'm not trying to be negative so like i don't know that's, I don't know, I'm, I wasn't trying to be negative, so I'm like, 
oh, talk to him, talk to him, because he is cute, and I wanted you to talk to him. Because, bitch, I'm not explaining myself. Like, the next thing you wrote me, like, on some shit, like, you already knew what was going on. Like, bitch, if you know what's going on, then I don't have to explain myself. Like, and I'm hungover as fuck. Like, the fuck? I'm not going to. Bitch, I'm like, I used to defend your little weird ass. Like, this is what everybody be talking about, like. And I didn't see it until you did it to me. Like, you're a fucking weirdo. Like, stop doing weird shit, you fucking weird bitch. Bobbin, I don't give a Bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck if we was friends or fucking not. Bitch, and what reason you had to fucking stop talking to me, bitch? Bitch, I don't care, bitch. You don't do nothing for my life, bitch. You don't put no money in my pockets like I did to you. You don't give me no fucking money opportunities, bitch. You you cost me money, bitch. You don't you don't do you have nothing for me, bitch. What do you have? What do you do for me, like, bitch? You're nothing. Like you did not. This is why it took me a month to hit you up, because you don't cause me nothing in my life, like, bitch. I go to different states, different states, different states, and, bitch, I don't need you, bitch. You go to different states, and you're a lame, you're a loser, bitch. You go to different states, you went to Atlanta, and you did nothing. You was with nobody, bitch. You was, you was a fucking loser, bitch. You was a lame. Every time I go somewhere, bitch, I'm lit. I'm always somewhere, I'm always with this person, that person, that person. Bitch, you're a lame and you're a loser. Bitch, you always think you're something, you you always think you sound hot, and bitch, you're not. You're a lame, you're a loser. Bitch, bitch I don't need you for nothing. I never needed you. Bitch, stop having your friends watch my fucking stories. Watch from what I do, bitch. My page is public. You can watch from your own page. Oh, you blocked me. That's why. You blocked me so you can throw subs at me. You fucking weird ass bitch. Bitch, suck my fucking dick, bitch. And bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. I don't care if we was friends or not. I never did, and I never will. Bitch, you was throwing subs like my whole birthday weekend, like. Bitch, why do you choose my birthday weekend to start throwing something about me? Like, you you miss me or something? Because, like, bitch, I don't miss you. So, like, leave me alone. Like, and this is the weird shit that people used to talk about. Bitch, you're a fucking loser. That's why, like... You go to Atlanta and you're a fucking lame. Like, you go to Atlanta, you're not in no sections. You're not doing nothing. You're not in nothing hot. You're not even in the hot clubs. Like, bitch, you was a lame. Bitch, that's what I mean. The fuck? Bird brain my fucking ass. This bird brain be lit, bitch. Not you. And what you got going on, honey? What you got going on, honey? Bitch, you got a fucking YouTube page. You think that you, that's cute? So as y'all can see from the screenshot and the screen recording, basically, to sum it up, she said some stupid shit. She, first, she tried to say that me and my friends was talking about her because my friend viewed her story on her birthday. But you know what's crazy? My friend tried to send me a story, but I had the bitch blocked. So when my friend was trying to send me her story, I couldn't see it. It said, like, unable to view. So I wrote my friend, like, oh, I can't see and she was like oh that so and so and i was like oh i got her blocked i don't care to see what she posted so i sent her the screenshot of that because it's like you think i'm watching you whole time i'm telling people i don't want to fucking see what you posted i don't even know why they sending it to me i didn't tell them to go look at your story bitch i don't care about what you posted that's why i blocked you you didn't block me duh so then after that basically to sum up the voice notes i hope like it wasn't letting me bring up the conversation on my phone so i hope i'm able to screen record it um so y'all could fucking hear the shit that she was saying but basically 
this bitch was basically saying how I work at my job and that I make minimum wage or below minimum wage. Which said I make nine dollars an hour, which is impossible because the New York City minimum wage is fifteen dollars an hour, and I don't even make that. And she knows that because I never came outside with her and didn't have money. In fact, she used to ask me to borrow money. So how could I ever be making? no money so anyway she tried to come at my job she tried to come at my character she said that i think that i'm all that i think that i'm better than people all she was trying to do was make me feel bad for feeling away about something that she did which i did not understand in the beginning of the conversation i was not being argumentative i was not being confrontational i wanted to us to just not be friends on a cool note she contacted me listen i left it as you didn't write back to me i didn't write you back again i didn't try to be for me i didn't try to start an issue or nothing like that we didn't have to communicate we didn't have to speak it was going well until you wrote me on february 7th at 2 in the morning so that means you wanted to have the conversation so now that i'm telling you exactly what it is that you did wrong why are you getting mad i wasn't trying to argue with you i was just trying to let you know like this is why this this and this is why we're not going to be cool anymore go about your business do not text me but she had a lot to say and i like i said i think she was sending me voice notes because she was around people because first of all you're sending me voice notes but you're saying stuff that's not in response to what I'm saying. You get what I'm trying to say? She's just sending me mad voice notes yelling into the phone. And I'm like, why are you sending me voice notes screaming, girl? I feel like she was around a crowd. She wanted to make it seem like, yeah, she bottomed me up or whatever the case may be. She's saying this and a third. But then at some point, she blocked me. Middle of an argument, she blocked me. And I'm like, okay, we're not going to be arguing no more. And then she unblocks me and then texts me like, oh, I had blocked you, but I want you to keep saying what you have to say. So I'm unblocking you. Like, bitch, you just want an argument. You just want to put on a show. But she came out. I feel like the funniest, weirdest shit about this whole shit. The bitch kept saying, oh, you're a lame. When I go to Atlanta, I be with the celebrities in the sections. And she's 29. I think 28, 29. You're a grown ass woman. Your main concern should not be about going to the clubs and being around celebrities and being popping. And oh, when I'm in the clubs, I, I be with these niggas and that niggas. Like when I go to the club or when I go out, period, it's to have fun with myself. Regardless who I'm with, bro, I'm going to have fun. I, my goal is not to be around no fucking tricking ass nigga that just want one thing out of me. Like I didn't understand what the argument was. Because at the end of the day, what are you doing for yourself? It's not about what, who you around that's doing shit. What can you do for yourself? Not much, because you used to text me asking me for $20. Moral of the story, I, I know this is probably short. It probably wasn't given much of what it's supposed to give. We haven't communicated since. I just wanted to include the receipts because I didn't know how to include it in the live stream. And, um, yeah, so this is like a short little part two, sum it up, wrap it up. Because I was getting a lot of comments on my live, like, we need more info, we need more info. There's a lot of different mini story times that go into that friendship. Maybe further on when I have time to really sit down and think about it and gather all the receipts of the other shit that she did. I can make little separate story times and we could have a fucking Marie series in this bitch at this point. But I don't want people to think that I'm trying to get attention off of them like i said i did not give a fuck it's been months we're in june this conversation happened in february it's just that i spoke to my friends about it like oh i want to do like more story times about little mini situations that i went through and they was like yo do a story time about marie because you done went through some shit with marie and i just wanted y'all to know like these are signs of narcissistic friends. Be careful with bitches that act like they cool with you, but be doing a lot of shady shit behind your back, like talking about you to other females, talking about you to men. I mean, I'm not going to say people don't talk about, everybody talks about everybody. It's just be careful and be mindful about who you share your information with because bitches are collecting your information to bring to the ops. And be careful and make sure whoever you defending will have your back because I was going off the limb defending shorty, going hard about her, don't play about her and the whole time she was letting shit slide all around people was disrespecting me she was letting it slide she was being friends with them and well i i felt like i want you guys to understand that relationships you can have toxic friendships as well it's not only being in toxic situations with lovers you can be in toxic situations in friendships and this is not the only friendship that i went through shit and i couldn't let go because you really like i i don't know if it's because I'm a cancer, my, I wear my heart on my sleeve, so anybody that I care about, I go all out for, I have 
a close attachment i give them my heart so it really does it really does get heartbreaking when you go through things with your friends when you have to cut people off like it really hurts it's like going through a breakup with a significant other like am i wrong y'all don't feel that way like let me know but if you like this video and you want more videos more story times hit that subscribe button tell a friend to tell a friend we on the road to 50k and for 50k is 51k 52k 53k 54k 55k 56k and from there it's up and it's stop